Hello beautiful, it's Jo again and I am back to talk about Fasting Life Week 48 Part 2 which is an update on my extended fast. I'm actually still not done yet. I can tell you that it's taken the bone broth to get me through. Day 4 was the toughest. Uh, see these notations? Hello beautiful just a quick fasting update I am trying to do my longevity seven day fast I am struggling a bit uh, this afternoon I already made my video for the midweek part one of fasting week 48 um, but new information is like as the afternoon's gone by I started getting a little weak and a little jittery and uh, a little shaky so I have had a cup of my bone broth uh, I am doing my best for that to be the only thing. Basically, there's 9 grams of protein. It's not the best thing in the world if I'm trying to get to autophagy, but I already knew I was dirty fasting. And in the long term, if it will get you over the hump to get those extra days in, uh, general consensus is go for it. So I am feeling a little bit better now. It's been over 30, 45 minutes since I had the bone broth. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better than I was. I was just getting really weak and really jittery. This is my hump day. It's always hard to get past this day. But I think this may get me further along. So, we're on the right track. I'm back again. Another note on day four is that uh, I clearly have been eating too many carbs because by and too much sugar we know this i talked about it i'm i'm guilty it was me but yeah so um i'm hungry i am so hungry i keep having to pound 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 this water to keep the hunger feeling down and a lot of that by day four should be easing off uh this is hump day though it can get tough in a lot of ways uh but yeah And uh, today is day five. I woke up completely fine. I just came back from walking Gizmo a little over a mile. And by the time I finish that mile, I'm my arms are jittery and weak. My knees are a little weak. I wouldn't say I'm lightheaded, but it's like on the way to that. I do not feel like I have to stop though, but I need something. There's only nine grams of protein in my sipping cup of bone broth uh, based on what this one link says they think that autophagy and everything like that will not be stopped as long as I am clean not sweet nothing insulin response causing and under 15 grams so yesterday the bone broth uh, did get me back where I needed to be I was able to follow up and complete my daily yoga. Um, so far I have managed to do my yoga four days in a row. Uh, I am sore, but not ridiculously so, but I'm definitely feeling that I'm getting back into those poses. Uh, it definitely is a challenge, but not too much of a challenge but if I wasn't doing the one cup of bone broth to get the almost the dizzy waggly jittery I mean I'm like my hands almost start shaking if I ignore it yesterday they were starting to wiggle a little bit uh, the the bone broth is helping and hopefully I mean basically they say anything that'll keep you going is worth it and being my first longevity fast hopefully this is enough to keep me where I need to be but still making the progress I'm still thinking that seven days is definitely gonna happen I'll keep updating you in a few minutes um, well a minute for you a couple of days for me 
because today is Friday. It is actually my birthday. Happy 47th birthday to me. I am working today, but it's a low key thing that doesn't require a lot of attention. I just have to be refresh an email box and check for work. If nothing ever comes in, then nothing ever comes in. I still get paid. Yay me. Um, I have lunch plans with a couple of different friends that I will notify them when the fasting life is completed and I have weaned back onto food. And uh, then I'll have a couple of treats. I am still looking forward to my personal birthday ribeye. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be good. But honestly, yesterday was the toughest day. The jitteriness, the shakiness is bad enough, but I was hungry at the same time. That was my hungry day. Today is not a terribly hungry day. It comes and goes like it normally does. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, the jitteriness came back after that walk, though. I wasn't feeling like this an hour ago before walking. People who are able to fully work out this far into a fast, I'm impressed with you, okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to drink my bone broth, and I will see you in a sec. I'm back again, and uh, for this t today's update, I uh, wanted to point out I am dirty fasting. I have had a couple of forced slips with this. I mentioned the bone broth. Yesterday, I wound up having to have two cups of bone broth. I have not had any cramps or spasms or anything like that. It is not a lack of magnesium or potassium. I'm getting enough of those from the feel of it. Uh, but the weakness and the jitteriness and the lightheadedness, that is all salt. So what I need in salt intake on a three-day fast is not remotely what I need on a four, five, six, seven day fast. Uh, I am currently attempting to boost my intake of salt today without the bone broth because once again, that is not only a dirty fast that technically breaks the fast, but it's so minor that your body should be able to get back into the right zone a lot faster. But um, I am taking a, my supplement, the salt stick capsules, but uh, which have all the electrolytes in it, including the magnesium and the potassium and everything. But I am also taking a half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salts diluted in water uh, every few hours. Uh, definitely, I'm going to try two to three teaspoons worth of salt today and see if that gets me in the right zone without making a dirty fast exception again today. Uh, the main thing is that you cannot take that two to three teaspoons of salt at one time or you're going to put your body into a salt water flush. It's not going to absorb properly. It's just going to run through your intestines and you're going to go to the bathroom instead. That is what you do if you're constipated or something. Uh, so you cannot take it all at one time. So I'm hoping that a half a teaspoon at a time will absorb properly. A lot of people will take like a gallon of water and dilute it a couple of a teaspoon or so in a whole gallon to drink on throughout the day. I can taste that too much. It's not to my preference. Uh, per my usual habits, I'm more likely to get through by taking a more concentrated amount at one time than doing it through the entire day. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I just took a uh, half a teaspoon a little while ago. I've already taken two of my electrolyte capsules and uh, I am a little jittery, but I do not have the headache, which I did develop towards the later part of that and it took a while to get rid of that. I actually had to take two bone broths yesterday uh, to finally get past the headache. Plus I took several extra capsules. You're supposed to be able to take up to 10 of those capsules a day. So I, but knowing that the salt is the main thing that I seem to be lacking, I don't think that that's the right choice. I'm going to go through something that's expensive 
with all the other electrolytes and I have sea salt in the house so I'm just like mega dosing on the salt itself because the dizziness the weakness it wasn't really truly dizziness it was a little more vague lightheadedness it wasn't like oh I'm gonna pass out it was like I don't feel quite right and the uh, weakness tends to come into my arms and elbows and upper arms and then a uh, jittery feeling around the knees just a hair not enough that I think I'm on the verge of actually passing out just enough that trying to think about doing my yoga is not something I think would be a good idea. I did get my yoga in last night though, uh, before bedtime. Uh, I was waiting to see if that second bone broth was going to get me feeling right and eventually it did. And doing yoga at bedtime is a good idea anyway because, you know, you... Uh, get your blood flowing, then you go into all these relaxation poses to wrap it up, and you're ready to sleep. I actually went to sleep last night real quick. Not that I don't normally go to sleep quick, but I didn't even sit up and read a book or anything. I just went to sleep when it was time. So that worked out well. I am going to wrap the video up here today uh, and post, I guess, a third or fourth update, depending on how the next few days go. I have basically two days left of fasting. Uh, I am, uh, when I looked at it a couple of hours ago, I was at like 131 hours fasted with 49 hours left to go. That was an hour or two ago now, so you do the math, it's nothing. But I am finding that I need to let just, you know, update as I go because there's a lot of things happening. And if I tried to do this all in one video, that video would be hella long, <laughs> especially since this week is uh, my moment to do a uh, body measurement. So uh, we'll see how the next day to two days goes to know whether I'm going to have to do a third update before the final results on Tuesday. So there we are. That is my week so far. This is longevity fast update part two and please do as always like subscribe comment notification bell do all the things and I will catch you on the flip side